Core 1 2015 question 7. Question is differentiation, but we've got to start by setting up the equation. Always remember though, if you cannot set this up, you can still do part 2 by writing the equation and then differentiating to find the maximum. So volume of a cone is 1 third pi r squared h. But we're not allowed r in our formula. So if I look at the cone, I can see a right angle. So if I use Pythagoras, square the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So r squared would be 81 minus h squared. That tells me that the volume is one third of pi r squared h. So one third of 81 is 27. So we have 27 pi times h minus one third pi h squared times h is h cubed. So the volume is 27 pi h minus one third pi h cubed. Now we have been asked to find a maximum so I'm going to differentiate and if I differentiate with respect to h we get 27 pi and then we have minus one third pi times 3 h squared so that is 27 pi minus pi h squared maximum occurs when dv dh equals zero. Pi is a common factor so I can eliminate it. So it's when h squared equals 27. So h would equal plus or minus the square root of 27. It only makes sense if the height is a positive. So the height would be the square root of 27 and 27 is 9 times 3 so that is 3 root 3. If we go back to when we use Pythagoras, 81 equals h squared plus r squared. So 81 will equal 27 plus r squared. r squared is 81 minus 27. So that is 54. And r is the square root of 54, which is 9 times 6. So that is 3 root 6. Finally then, the ratio of h to r is 3 root 3 to 3 root 6. 3's are eliminated. And if I think of root 6 as root 3 times 2, so root 3 to root 3 times root 2, the ratio simplifies to 1 to root 2.